Hey, it's Brian from Moment to Ponder again. Uh, follow up to the uh, to the Rockmite Rockmite Two kit from QRP Me. Um, so I haven't started putting it together yet, but I did start some preliminary steps. I took some cardstock paper, so it's thicker than normal paper, and I went through the list, the build list. And I wrote down every, this is the diodes page, so every diode size and where it goes on the board, the board reference, and I taped one next to it. And um, so I did this with all the diodes. Man, that focus sucks. Um, D6 is a variable and it's uh, static sensitive, so I know it's in my static sensitive bag. I'll just leave it there. I checked to see if I had it. I do. I did the same thing with the resistors. It's a whole page of resistors, um, and and there's some like power mod stuff. So only if I'm using nine volts will I use these, and I don't know. So I'll have to read some of that. Uh, this one there's going to be a, a pot, a potentiometer, a variable. So that's for the volume. Here's the capacitors. Man, the focus sucks. They gave me a spare one. So here's all my caps. Some of them I just left on the thing. Some big ones. And I was going through the parts list and I found some... First of all, you know, I didn't put my crystals on there. That's fine. Uh, all my integrated circuits. But I found a couple of things I, I couldn't figure out. One, I've got a spare resistor here. It's a uh, orange, black, gold, gold. I don't know what that's for. Um... But uh, it was asking for the heat sink. Now, I've never built one of these kits. This little hat looking thing is the heat sink. Um, so, so you know it goes on one of the transistors. Uh, I got the accessories kit, which has some extra stuff. And it's got its own transistor with a heat sink. One of the things I found that was a giant pain in the butt is you need a magnifying glass. Oh, hey, that actually works really good through there. Um, and this is a helping hands for soldering. Uh, anybody who does, has done this before knows that stuff, but uh, you can get these for a couple bucks at Harbor Freight, like three bucks. A solder tip cleaner. Um, that was just a couple of bucks. Went to Harbor Freight today, as you can see. Um, my table's a mess. Some uh, hemostats or forceps. These are like three or four bucks at Harbor Freight. They may help me. Uh, thin. Can we read that? Are we going to get that? It's 0 .32 diameter solder. It's the thin stuff. Um, got a free light. Uh, I figure I'm going to have some parts left over. I'll be buying some resistors and stuff on eBay. So this was like three or four bucks. And then I bought one of these goofy magnifying hat things. So we'll see how well that works for what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to go downstairs into the soldering room and we're going to start on this. One thing, how I figured out this heat sink mumbo jumbo. Again, this little round goofy thing. Um, is there's a build list online for the old version. And it's step by step. Install this transistor next. Install this one next, etc. I'm going to go buy that as best I can um, and, and kind of go between the two documents um, so I kind of know what's going on there. Uh, and I'll try to remember to put a link in the uh, the notes for this as far as that's concerned. Uh, so as far as this, I just used regular 3M style scotch tape to tape those on there. So now I know when I need to go... C2, C2, there it is, capacitor number two, bam, it's ready to go in. What else? Oh, I also got, uh, for six or seven dollars, because you're going to need some little side cuts, some end nippers, maybe some needle nose, different kind of needle nose pliers. I probably had most of these. Um, I didn't have these. It was six bucks or something, seven bucks. Why not? 
um, you can always use more. Uh, so I'll get you downstairs in a little bit and uh, see where this goes. <laughs> Alright, this is Brian from Moment to Ponder. Have a great day and if anybody knows what this uh, resistor is in the next couple of days, uh, again it's orange, black, gold, gold, which would be 220, what's gold? 0.2 ohms or something? I don't know, shit. Um, no, 3, 3, 0, gold is 0.1. So, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, if you know what it is, um, where it goes on this thing, let me know. Uh, it's Brian, Moment to Ponder. Talk to you later.